hi welcome to programming vice our youtube channel in this video we are going to look at our final video of html5 series and we are going to cover the api of html5 which includes server sent events so what exactly are server sent events server sent events are uh, uh, actually it is not a new api but in html5 it could be counted as a new api it is a one-way messaging protocol for only server to update the contents of a web page and the backend code that is going to obviously the update html page should be either php sp or any dynamic language you guys can uh, you guys can choose and uh, the things you guys have to keep in mind while going through the server sentiments and coding the stuff are following the content types of the server side file should be always set to text slash event hyphen stream and the page you are going to update should not be caching anything also the output data string that you are going to update in this server should start with data column the prefix should be data colon and you have to uh, use the flush function in order to you guys uh, update the web page okay so uh, keeping keeping these things in mind we are going to start coding right now uh, i have just updated my uh, kali linux so we are going to work with it quickly i am going to start the uh, server service apache 2 restart you guys can use any server uh, on windows on linux my preference uh, for running web apps uh, behind a web server is always linux because it is more powerful than uh, those kind of windows <clears throat> okay so uh, i'll quickly move to web app directory clear and i am going to make a dire directory called youtube okay all right now let's quickly go ahead and create our stuff vim updater dot php i am going to write out vim uh, update uh, php code first so let's if you guys know uh, i told you guys to set content type equal to uh, you know text event string right and should not cache anything so a uh, cache control should be no cache all right okay now uh, i have an idea to uh, uh, you know write a web page which can update date and time of the server uh, dynamically using html5 sse server sent events so let's quickly grab up the time and format should be this one okay if you guys remember i said the output data must start with prefix data and colon okay now i am going to write out that the server time now is okay and finally we are going to flush the output okay so our little php updater is ready and now we are going to you know write uh a new file called index.html okay set content types to uh, html while i am writing i uh, suggest for you guys to you know keep writing with along me so you guys can understand exactly what i am going to do title html file 
server send events. The, I am quickly grabbing the basic structure of our HTML5 document. Now uh, let's go ahead and you know create a little heading here that dynamically updating the server data and align it to center This is uh, our little div tag whose contents we are going to update and set an ID as no result. Okay. I am just going ahead and aligning the div tag contents to center. Text align. Spelling are correct. No. Now they are correct. Okay. So I guess now we should go ahead and write our actual stuff. In the case of uh, HTML5 server sent events, we should always keep in mind that we always check the browser for support. So in order to check the browser for HTML5 SSC support, we have to write here if type of uh, uh, type of you know event source is not set to undefined okay then what it have to do go ahead and code your stuff else alert that browser is crap okay so uh, now i am going to write out the actual code here after checking it for uh, you know, support if the browser actually supports we have to set a variable called source is equal to uh, here actually we have to grab the new event source and this event source should be equal to our updater file okay so uh, our updater file was data.php okay now we have some events events like you know uh, on message on open on no open and so on here uh, the you know event i am going to use is uh, on message so source actually it is updater on message what it have to do do a callback function using a following event that uh, so document dot get element by id of this result okay uh, result dot inner html so uh, set the uh, contents of this inner html equal to you know event dot data actually uh, if this is confusing to you guys uh, i'll explain line by line just let me code it so uh, it is uh, you know i guess it is okay now okay let me explain it what exactly this code is going to do 
it is simply going ahead and creating an updater source and upon getting any message from this source it is going ahead and updating the contents of this div and here the data will be updated that we can see in form of uh, the server time now is and what is the time of server so on so now uh, let's go ahead and test our code we have following files index.html and updater.php let's quickly uh, check you know ip address of this machine it is 192.168.1.4 i have copied it and okay now if you guys remember we have created the directory youtube there and you can see here the server time is now friday 29 january 2016 and so on anything it will uh, now keep updating the time so uh, dynamically and using server sent event and the server sent event is nothing but the content we have uh, you know let me quickly go ahead and show you guys index.html this so i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed learning it please subscribe to my channel and keep sharing it with your uh, community and also if you guys uh, you know encounter any problem regarding this uh, tutorial you guys can ask me for the source code it is kept and uh, it is you know free for you guys so thanks for watching keep subscribing to my channel